Welcome back. I am very excited to introduce you to our next guest. Jim Johnson is the general manager of Margaret's Cleaners in Newport Beach. And I recently had the opportunity to need him. And I believe everyone will need him at one time or another. So we're thrilled to share him with you. I had a flood in my apartment, right? My dad was just sitting there minding his own business while they were visiting and suddenly heard the water running. And he walked into my bedroom and saw the whole ceiling had exploded mm. into my wardrobe closet, master bed, master bath. Mm. And in the closet of a stylist, you might find a few beautiful mm -hmm. items. And my mother's wardrobe was in there. Uh. So it was doing double duty. And I had been using Margaret's as a, a one-off for mm -hmm. specialty pieces as a dry cleaner. But what they came through with was so much more. So. Jim, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I know that I'm not the only one who has had a crisis and then had to manage it. And it could be a flood, it could be a fire, it could be the people not properly covering the wardrobe. Or it could just be something you bought that was real special. And yeah. You wanna, you wanna maintain it. And that's, that's what Margaret's is all about. So talk to us about that because you offer services far beyond dry cleaning that I bet nobody even knows about. Well, again, thank you for having me here. It's, uh, it's, Margaret's is an amazing company. There's such a diverse skill set there, and I literally can tell you as it goes from the, the bottoms of your feet to the top of your head, <laughs> and the drapes that are in your home, whatever it might need to be done, if it's a custom piece and it's couture or something that's really valuable, maybe it was a one of a kind you had actually just tailored. Margaret's has the ability to clean it and maintain it. Maintaining it at this quality level makes it last. In, mm -hmm. in the case of linens, yeah. it's for generations. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we have French laundry where we do linens that are you know, generations old. Uh, I can give you my best personal story from the, from the linens. I, I'm born and raised in the dry cleaning industry. My grandfather sold it to my father. I bought mine from my father and so that generational aspect we had a lot of old imported Italian linens and we had a doily a tabletop doily that when I went to work for Margaret's five years ago I brought it in and said you know would you clean this for me I want to see what it looks like there was a hole the size of a silver dollar and when it came back my wife couldn't find out could not see where the damage was wow. it was gone wow it, it, that's the skill set that's there amongst the many things that's so. remarkable so you have fairies and pixies who work there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm getting exactly. well you know and, and this the the skill set we we draw a wide variety of highly skilled people mm -hmm. um, we just recently hired a woman she works in our los angeles store that worked for hermes um, the gentleman that does our leather repairs and does edge works on our purses, things like that, came from Louis Vuitton. So those are uh, the highest level of skilled technicians. We have an in-house cobbler. Mm. So <clears throat> when, so when Lauren's shoes needed and the boots needed work, it was quick text of a photo, would you like us to get this fixed as well? Do that while you've got them. And so, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, and thank you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I wouldn't know where to take it anyway after no. all this. So let's look at some, you brought some real life examples, which sure. I think are just tremendous for people to understand. Mm -hmm. Because I, I am this person, right? I will wear a bag that mm -hmm. I love and love and it'll be discolored or it'll crack. And then I, I sit it on my shelf and I look at it longingly saying, I wish I could take you, but I have to take this one because you look like crap. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so what can I do now to actually give my bag new life? Absolutely. So if you just think of it in terms of the handles, and that's why I brought this along. Mm -hmm. This is a simple, basic example of body oil and normal wear mm -hmm. on a leather handle. And this is just a mock-up for the purposes of showing the tone variation, but you can see how we went from oily and gray to a white. Mm -hmm. Not everything can be colored. There's limits to everything. Right. But the other thing that happens is that these edges, the rubberized edges start to split and they get this cracking effect. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to remove the edge completely, strip it off, take it back to factory original mm -hmm. raw, the way it was made, mm -hmm at the designer right. and then come back and reapply it. 
Hmm. That's Trademark got original so amazing. matching color yeah. mm -hmm. to the tone of that. Now, in this particular case, she wanted that color. That's what we did. But we also have circumstances where you go, well, I would like a contrast. Yeah, yeah. And there's, there's countless ones. Um, in the world of purses. Yeah, and we can, we can use these photos that you brought. I mm -hmm. mean, this is a before. Of the of the purse, and I'll just hold that up there for the camera. Mm -hmm. Vanna, the Vanna White thing is usually Amy's sure. job, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and you can see that it's worn out. And then the after, though, literally looks like I just took it off the Nordstrom it, shelf. It, it right. is so unbelievable to be able yeah. to see those two differences. Yeah. They look like completely different purses. It, it, it is astonishing to see because we can do such perfect color matches. Um, it, it's amazing to see the before and afters. And I want to just touch briefly on that designer aspect of the color. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that's your favorite, we can do a color match for you. Hmm. Because if you change the color on that, it's no longer an original Prada or what it might, right. might be I originally. Mm -hmm. um, so when you do that, that's part of the protocol questions that I do with the customers. Mm -hmm. Is it your favorite? Are you keeping it? It's not going on a site for sale, is it? Because if it is, it will no longer be an original. Yeah, but interesting. But in most cases, it's no, it's it's the one thing my husband bought for me or yeah. whatever. It's the one big splurge I, I bought myself when I graduated from college. Right. So those are the things that we, you know, we'll do those all the time. And I would say about, you know, one in 10, someone says, well, I was hoping to sell it. Okay, well then you should not recolor. And we yeah. want to, you know, because I don't want to, Turn it from a thousand dollar left, uh, not leftover, mm -hmm. excuse me, wrong word, thousand dollar <laughs> used bag to right. something of no right. value. So. so, when I was looking through this um, here, I love the word couture in here because I feel like this represents you so much better than cleaner, right? Sure. So, yeah. of course, you clean. But I was looking in here and there's you do bead work, you do restoration for bridal gowns. Right. The, the, the scope and scale of everything we do. It's, it's basically, I gotta, you know, gotta, I jokingly say I love Google because if you Google what to do with something that is precious and valuable, yeah. most of the time you're going to get us. Um, okay. We have everything from in-house bridal where we can take vintage wedding gowns, completely restore them. Ever again, everything's based upon knowing what you can do and what you can't do. Mm -hmm. And that's the expertise level that comes at Margaret's. You get the ability to send it in, send it to me, send it to my VP of operations, and between the four other people in the plant besides ourselves, we can hand this off and know, yes we can, no we can't. Mm -hmm. And I've got a woman right now who has about 15 yards of imported Belgian linen, and she wants to make couch covers with it. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want, but she wants to be able to throw them in and wash them. Oh. So she sent them in and we, we surged the seams and washed it and pressed it like we would a, a tablecloth. Mm. Now she can safely do those at home for her, you know, in that process. It was $70 a yard for the, for the, wow. the linen. Right. So she was willing to spend the extra $150 to have it fixed. Yeah. Those are the kind of specialty services that we offer. And we started off by doing a measured sample for her. Mm -hmm. Took a small piece off, cut it, measured it, called her up, left her the messages and followed through. And, where that's in production the, now. The service, the level of service that's amazing. is unbelievable. So I, I have a rocking chair. This is getting into projects here. <laughs> okay. I have a rocking chair that I, I've, I've had for 18 years. Mm -hmm. I have rocked all five of my babies in it, and I, it's so precious to me. And so, and it needs to be recovered really, really badly, so I'm gonna call you later. <laughs> well, if, if there's slip covers, we can do it. In fact, okay, my, uh, my new grandbaby, who's now almost two, we did that very thing. We, we, it was a rocking chair that came from my mother-in-law, who is now 95, mm -hmm. and we wanted to have a padded chair for it, so I took the dimensions and brought it in, and yeah, that was an expensive set of padded, uh, yeah. you know, rocking but, chair pads, but, but it was... But it's worth it. It's your grandbaby. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. Your you know, I, ha oh, I had wonderful. an in, so it worked you know, out well. Absolutely. You cannot, you, you just can't put a price tag on mm -hmm. getting that phone call so I dropped off bags, literally mm -hmm. black bags of wet stuff. Mm -hmm. And two days later or the next day, got a phone call from Jim. Says, "Look like you looks like you've had a little bit of a problem." <laughs> I said, "Yes," and he said, "And we're going to take care of you." Oh. Right. And there is really nothing that helps you breathe deeper and mm -hmm. relax and know that it's going to be the best outcome it can possibly be, regardless yes. of yeah. what it is. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean everything can be salvaged. There were some pieces that are just not salvageable. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's just going to happen. But in the end, when you look at what comes back versus mm -hmm. what went out. Well, and I want to yeah. touch base too, because 
it's not that we, you know, we basically, we only work for Margaret's customers. Mm -hmm. We don't solicit restoration work. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you were already a customer, we say, okay, yeah, we can help you with that. Mm, that's wonderful too. And too. that's a unique position to be in. I, the adjuster that I was speaking with at this home over in La Costa two days ago, um, she understood fully because it was an existing customer. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, a, mm -hmm. what, almost uh, 10 times the size of your job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, so. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like a spit for that. <laughs> but for me, it was everything. No, well, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. So that's really the difference. Well, it's, and uh, the other thing that is really, that you said that I thought was really meaningful is that you know the difference between what you can do and what you can't. Because my biggest fear is I take it to somebody who is not, you know, if I take something valuable to somebody that doesn't really know what they're doing mm -hmm. and they'll say, oh, sure, we can do this, right. and they ruin it. And they will, you know? and they well, can And the gentleman mm -hmm. that was at the counter right before I left, I was a little late leaving, because our actual production facility is in San Diego. Okay. And he walked into the counter, they called me up front, even though I was headed out the door, and he had a beautiful silk blazer unlined mm -hmm. silk blazer and he had spilled uh, barbecue sauce on it mm. and he went like this and he oh it. no and so it had a nice halo already oh, no. in it the crazy part about our skill set is we have the ability to touch that up with what's called an oil padding technique wow it's not a permanent repair but we can make it wearable for him and mm -hmm. while he was there I said well by the way are you aware that the back is starting to split he didn't know it mm. and it's just it's just part yeah. of what we do and mm -hmm. you know I've got 30 years experience Margaret's has been here since the early 80s mm -hmm. um, it was actually purchased in the early 80s by the Horst family that are my bosses um, they're second and third generations just like myself so we have uh, if you tallied up all the years for everybody at Margaret's it's hundreds of years of experience. Wow. So That's how can our viewers find you? We'll post pictures and things um, okay. on the screen for them to see, but how can they find you directly? So we're on Westcliff here in Newport. Mm -hmm. um, that's our store. Uh, we offer basically a two or three day turnaround for most items. One of the things I have to add real quick is when you have a problem, please give us the time to do it and do it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the last thing we want to do is rush it and not have it come out as good as it could. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it. So we have uh, Newport Beach. We have a store in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. We have one in La Jolla, one in Del Mar, and then in San Diego on Convoy is our major, that's 22,000 square feet of production facility. Okay. Wow. It's a big operation and it's it is literally everything from wedding gowns to purses to shoes, to any, any, any any couture <laughs> clothing to drapes, um, the the skill level is unparalleled. I, I joked that years ago when I first came to work with them, I said, "It's like the scene from uh, Jurassic Park where the gentleman says, spare no expense." Uh -huh. And Margaret's is very much that way. I mean, to have uh, you know nationally recognized the first five star cleaner in the nation, mm -hmm. um, we have three types of dry cleaning systems and a skill set that's just unparalleled. So. Well, we're going to send our viewers directly to Margaret's. We Jim, thank it. you so much for being and with thank us. Thank you very much. It's it was a, a pleasure, pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you. And right. we'll be right back.